and come out with a fairly efficient system here for low voltage hydrogen making. Uh, stainless steel wall plates held together with a zip tie on each hole for the screws. Spaced in between or 50 pound test strength, uh, 50 pound test fishing line. If you put in plastic washers and stuff. And I have eight slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Purpose here is to show you the difference between a 12 volt, 24, 36, and 48, and the amps it'll pull. Have the amp meter here and amps. We'll start off with the 12 and in series 24 and then in series with that 36 and then 48. Well, we'll see big difference. Here's 12, one plate over. Four point, eh, about four amps. A lot of bubbles right there, but uh, eh, that's a lot of amps. It's it hot, right? So we'll go two out. And we're at one point six. Now I'll go three slots out. Let's see, and that's it. That's at about 0.6767 yeah, of an amp. There's that much. And if I go four slots out, you can see greatly reduced. And that's 0.23 of an amp. And if I go five slots out, almost none. Very, very little. And that's 0.06 of an amp. Now I'll take it and I'll put it on the 24 volt side. And I'm not even going to go with the first one, it's just too much. I'm going to go two slots over. I only have two amp wires on there, so you can go for four amps real short. And then that should be 3.5, 3.6. Nice bubbles. No nice. Lots of hydrogen. In any case, if I go more out. Three slots out. Two point two. If I go four slots out, one point four. If I go five slots out now, point eight nine. Still not a bad little output. I went six slots out. Now I'm running a half an amp all the way through, just over half an amp. 24 half, that's 12 watts of power right there. So, and I can go all the way out to the end, and almost none now, at point one three of an amp. You see very, very, very little hydrogen coming out. Next, now we'll go to 36 volts. And the other one series 12, 24, 36. Now this one here, I'll start one, two, three slots over. And just by sticking the tip of the meter in, you can see hydrogen's coming off the tip, see it? So I'm going to go one, two, three, I'll start with three. Six. Now I'm going to go six out just to show the difference. So that's six slots out. I'm at two amps. 2.13 amps. That's a lot of bubbles. I'm going to go all the way to the end. All the way to the past the eighth slot. Still not bad. And I'm 
me actually using 0 0.8 three six of an amp, 36 volts. Okay. bubbles popping and now I will go to 48 volts not exact and I'm gonna start way out here so I don't know my wires five slots out three amps a lot of bubbles. Probably eight times three bucks. It's going to have 50 watts, right? So I'll go one, two. I'm on the seventh slot right here. Oh, there's. Oh, nice. There's two amps. There's still a lot of bubbles, and I can still even off. Pretty loud, huh? Made my ears ring. And we'll go with the um, the eighth slot out right there. This tremendous amount right there still. One and a half amps. One point, eh, one point six. Forty-eight volts. Just over seventy-two watts of power. That makes some noise, you better believe it. Testing experiments only. Uh, use at your own risk. Um, obviously, as you saw, the, the voltage was able to, to cover over the slots. more volts the further it went. The idea is to run less amps so the water stays cool to the touch. It doesn't heat up too much. Eight slots, 36 volts, that was close to one amp. These nine amp hour batteries, so that's nine hours worth of runtime, 36 volts. Something to think about.